Hi everyone and welcome to today's tarot reading. Today we are going to take a look at the situationship that you are in with your person. First off, I want to take a look at what is going on here. Uh, and second off, I want to take a look at where is your person's head at when it comes to this situation? What are their intentions? What do they want? What do they see? How do they want to, you know, just giving a little bit more answers about this weird, for some of you, weird situationship thing, like, what are we situation? And I kind of want to get some answers on for you guys. Uh, keep in mind, it is going to be a general reasoning, so not all messages might resonate for you. If a message is only confusing you, that's meant for someone else in the community, so don't take it for yourself. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, you still can. You'll find my email address in the description. Send me an email. I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know about that. In the uh, description, you'll also find a link tree link. If you go over there, you'll find everything from my other YouTube channel, which is in Dutch, um, Instagram, TikTok, different ways to make donations for anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation different ways to do that over there or you can just click on the super thanks button here on youtube now let's take a look this whole situation ship uh we're honestly want to get the answers of like where's your person at with this so let's take a look pile number one you are going to be the little owl with cleanse wash your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades for pile number one pile number two you are gonna be this little pumpkin with friends the most unlikely friendships can form like variegated lesions on hard rock they create a tight bond so that variation lesions that's that um mossy green stuff that you sometimes see on rocks um it's very hard but like sticky to the rock they create a tight bond because it's also very hard to let go of to like clean that up okay and pile number three you are going to be the little hedgehog with dance allow yourself some fun each day just as the sun dances with the moon each night for pile number three so if you need some more time with the piles then pause the video here and otherwise i will talk to you guys in your reading hi pal number one if you chose cleanse and the little owl with wash your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades then this is going to be your reading today cleanse wash your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades okay I want to right off start with uh, what's the situation right now? What's like going on here in this situation ship at the moment? So let's do that with the tarot pile number one. What is going on in this situation ship right now? What's the situation right now? We have the Ace of Swords, the Hanged Men, the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords as the overall energy is like, let's not think too much about it. Let's just, you know, have fun. Um... Because with that, okay, with that cleanse, I'm kind of feeling that one, at least one of the two is not feeling ready for a committed relationship. Feel like with that five pentacles as well, not worthy or I'm still recovering, I'm still healing, I'm not ready for this level of commitment. Um, you deserve better, that type of energy to it. Where with that hanged, I definitely feel like on two, like different pages. The Queen of Wands is because I'm okay. The Queen of Wands is energy of just having fun, and I'm having fun, and it's fun for as long as it's fun, and when it's not, then I'll move on from it. Where the other one, the King of Swords, is very highly intelligent as well as someone that 
enjoys like deep conversations with that ace of uh, swords i'm also feeling that those kind of conversations really happen i don't know if it is about healing because we do have the three of swords which again is a very painful situation have been through a lot of pain and a lot of hurt with that hanged man needs some contemplation so i don't know but like for some of you it might feel a little bit like you're the therapist And I feel like <laughs> that's that's it. We're having a lot of... Because I'm seeing a lot of healing going on. I see a lot of self-doubt still. I see a lot of um, you deserve better. I'm not good enough. I'm still broken. I'm not healed. And I am on my healing journey. But... Because from this, I'm also kind of getting some sort of like distant. Where you can have very deep honest and open conversations with this person but then when things get into like an emotional route they kind of like take a little bit of a step back where that queen of wands just wants to have fun and she also doesn't because i feel like for some of you they are sometimes a bit too serious or having conversations that are a bit too deep to just be casually and fun uh, where again, I kind of feel like you guys are both wanting two different things where the Queen of Wands is someone that again just wants to have fun. I'm not looking for anything serious myself as well, but this is just weird, you know, where both are not looking for anything serious, but at the same time, one is kind of like having those serious deep conversations that the other person thinks of like, that's what I have with that, like someone that wants me in their life for a long time and i feel like that's maybe a little bit where we miss each other's intentions here where i genuinely feel that they are just uh, again i'm kind of, kind of getting like free therapist session here um so that's kind of the energy i'm feeling what's going on here between the two of you right now to some degrees it hasn't doesn't have to be as extreme as like i feel like a therapist but i do feel that there has been like serious conversations but at the same time we're saying like I don't, i'm not ready for something serious which might be just a bit confusing um so let's take a look at what are their intentions moving forward and i kind of want to start with the oracle on this pile number one so let's take a look what are your person's intentions for this situation ship? We have boundaries and we have blessings. I kind of feel like as long as they are getting something from this, this connection, they are willing to keep it going. But again, with boundaries, having clear boundaries of like, I'm not looking for anything serious. And as long as you are like, giving this to me, I'm here. Okay. Um, what else do we want for this? Let's take a look at these. What are their intentions for pile number one? Their person's intentions for this situation ship. Coming to life. Coming to life, yes. Oh, and then oh, we also have a rock bottom. So I definitely feel that this is more for them on a personal level of healing, uh, for them to grow, for them to... I feel for some of you, this might uh, come across a little bit as like a selfish act, which it is. Um, I don't think it is a self like a uh, maleficent selfish act. I don't think they are trying to hurt anyone by gaining something for themselves. I definitely feel that this is a part of their uh, growing journey. And as long as you are like, I'm cool with this, you know, I'm still having fun. I'm still getting something out of this myself. It's cool. For others of you, I do see getting a, a bit of a feeling of like feeling used, you know. Uh, what else? Pile number one. That person's intentions. Okay, that's too much. I'll take that one. We have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. We have a heart with a key. 
welcoming love meaning the one open your heart get together and perfect and we also have talking interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email and hovering so i do feel that they are keeping the door open for this connection at some point to turn into something more serious but right now they're very much in their healing stage very much in that you know working on it growth all that good stuff I, again i definitely feel that they are open it's not that they are the intention of like i'm gonna use this person to heal and then i'm gonna move on i definitely feel that there is the intent to heal and then be open to it with that talking talking wanting to talk more to you seeing what what more is there but right now i definitely feel them not being ready for commitment as well as there is no guarantee that when they have done their healing that then it's a hundred percent you right um let's take a look at some tarot why do i keep wanting this one i don't know okay pile number one your person's intentions for this situation ship their intentions. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles. The World. The Ten of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. At the bottom of the deck. We have the Emperor. So And then the Knight of Cups. So yes, I definitely feel that your person is very much intention to... Um, again, heal. And with that emperor, do what's best for everyone. I definitely feel that they would like to give you an offer of something serious, but they need to have some sort of ending first. They need, again, that healing is their top priority, which I'm just like, yes. Uh, at the same time, it kind of depends on how you're feeling about this. If you are like fed up with this, where you're like, I am not wanting a build a bear of a man, you know? Where you have to like put all the pieces together again and then ta-da, build a bear and then find out you're not a bear type of person. Um, you know, if you're like, oh no, I'm just like, no, he's only using me to heal, uh, which yes, I do feel that's part of it for sure. But not again, not with malicious intent to like heal and then leave i definitely feel that they do have the intent to see what else is there or like to see what's there between the two of you um we also have that queen of swords which sometimes i describe her a little bit as an ice queen someone highly intelligent someone that is on top of their game that is kicking ass <laughs> literally also someone that's okay with closing off their emotions uh not leading by emotions uh i definitely feel that why they are drawn to you is because you are so vibrant and resilient and are able to deal with situations on a almost like make choices on a non-emotional way this is what makes sense so this is what we are gonna do yeah but i don't want to i don't care this is what needs to be done so we're gonna do it um, and I see definitely a lot of like admiration for you on that. And I definitely feel that that's one of the reasons why this person is so attracted to you. Because I feel like that's something that they have been trouble doing. Uh, especially in these circumstances. I don't know. For some of you it might be that they just got out of a serious relationship. That they uh, lost someone and are still grieving. Um, lost their job or just very much again with that rock bottom hitting rock bottom for them but I definitely feel that their intent is to become that emperor energy and make the decision that's best for everyone um, okay so that's good that's better than I initially thought honestly <laughs> where it's like oh they genuinely are like okay I just need to like heal and then we can take a look at this because right now as well with this coming to life i feel like that's exactly what they're at they're like coming to life but they're not there yet there are still some parts that are still like stuck and we have a little um butterfly here as well they are very much still in the middle of their transformation so 
they themselves also don't know what type of person they will be after this coming to life part. Uh, a lot throughout our life, we are always changing and we're always growing and we're never uh, the same person two days in a row. Where for them, it's also a very big still if or like, who am I? What do I want? And um, I think it is a sign of good uh, maturity even that they are like, I don't want to get into a relationship while I am in this journey because I don't know who I'll be once I am completely um, to life again. So I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt me. I don't want to make rash decisions. And so keep in place these very strict boundaries. Which again, like as always, we're looking to their energy, right? Just because this is their energy does not mean that you should just take it or to be content with this. If you're feeling a certain way about this, you're feeling a certain way about this, right? And you always have a choice whether or not you want to accept this that they're offering, right? I'm just seeing, saying this is what, what their mindset is at the moment. Now, this is a question that I get often. And that's the question, yes, but do they love me? Because apparently <laughs> that, that is the solution to everything. As long as they love me, I don't care. Um, I'm honestly not seeing love right now. I see ad admiration. I see respect. That type of love, yes. Do I see infatuation, crush? Deep-rooted feelings. No. No. Okay, let's take a look. Pile number one. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. What else for pile number one? Actions speak louder than words. If you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they are doing. Yes. Because I feel like they're not doing a whole lot in return. I just see a lot of like taking, 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 where this person is getting a whole lot. Um, and you might be getting a little bit less. Well, not a little bit, but less. Um... I kind of want to... I was like, do hmm. let's take a look at these some messages from your person, and then end it with like timeline of like what is an important timeline for you guys. So any messages from your person to you, call number one. We have the timing just wasn't right for us, and I hope that you can forgive me one day. Okay, what is an important timeline for this connection? Pile number one. An important timeline for you and this situationship connection. We have April. I kind of want this one too. A spring. Okay, which is basically the same. Okay. Spring, April. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have November. And then underneath that, we have six months from now, which... I feel like it's April uh, or it's like spring. So I honestly kind of want to leave it here for you guys. I, I This was to me was pretty, pretty uh, clear and straightforward. So I am going to leave it here. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If that was the case, let me know in the comments down below. I just love reading about like how the like, like what's going on. Basically, let me know what's going on. Give me some tea. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. So I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. If you have any suggestions for future readings, please let me know as well and I'll take a look at it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's very helpful for me. So thank you so much for doing so. Have an amazing rest of your day. Go kick ass. Again, just because a person is feeling a certain way does not mean that we have to go with that. However you're feeling, it's legit accept that as well and act upon that um have an amazing rest of your day again go kick ass you absolutely got this and then hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading
Hi everyone and welcome to your reading pile number two. If you chose friends and a little pumpkin with the most unlikely friendships can form like variegated lesions on hard rock. They create tight bonds. Then this is going to be your reading pile number two. I'm kind of feeling for some of you already feeling that this is a situation of we try to be in a relationship but turns out we're better off friends and now we're like the bestest of friends that type of moving into that direction but first off to confirm this i kind of wanted to take a look at what is the situation what is status quo right now between the two of you what is the situation ship what is going on so let's take a look pile number two with friends Call number two. What is the situation with them and their situationship? We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. So I'm already feeling one of the two is very much ready to settle down and the other one just still is a little bit in that I just want to have fun type of energy. I definitely feel that you guys do have a very strong connection and do have a connection for a very long time. I'm also seeing a lot of like singleness. We need to be single. Um, we need to focus on our own. With that two of pentacles talks about like balance. So yeah, I do feel that again, for some of you... Sorry about that. The neighbors are remodeling. Anyway, for <laughs> now I'm already where I'm like, what did I want to say for some of you? <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thought. Anyway, um, <laughs> I feel like, again, very let's be single. We need to focus on our um, selves, on our own things. With that two of pentacles, I definitely feel that you guys... Like, it just works well together. Again, a very strong, good connection. The High Priestess is very vague. Is very... Like, what's what's like what's going on? There's, like, a feeling, but it's hard to explain. And, yeah, just a little bit hidden. The High Priestess also sometimes indicate trusting your intuition or trusting that inner call. But at the same time, it's also, again, just hidden and vague and... Hmm. Maybe you guys came to the agreement of let's just be friends, but there is still that, like, pull towards each other. This is a very, yeah, weird... Again, I feel like... It's almost where it's like it makes more sense to be friends right now. But at the same time, there is very much that pull that's hard to explain or, you know, put a finger on. Like, what is it? Um, I kind of want to clarify, like, everything. Why is the two of pentacles here? Why is the two of pentacles here? Pile number two. We have strength. The Ten of Wands. Okay, why is the Nine of Cups here? What is that? Because the Nine of Cups sometimes can also indicate like a wish being fulfilled. Six of Wands, victory, yes. Wish being fulfilled. And then the Ace of Wands, attraction. I kind of... Oh, this is so frustrating. And I kind of want to take a look like why did you decide to be friends? Because I feel like this is everything that you guys have been trying to manifest and want in your life and bring into your life. And so I am just a bit like, why are we just friends? Why is this a situation ship? We have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is a very tired energy. It has been through a lot and then like questioning... Do I want to continue the way that I have? Do I need to let go of some things? We have the two of ones and we have the knight of ones. So for some of you, you or your person might have just gone. I feel like this is what I see. 
someone just got out of a serious relationship and now want to enjoy their singleness and not wanting to rush into another connection relationship that's not why they broke up so I want to focus on myself on having fun and exploring and just fucking around a little bit, no pun intended. Uh, the two of ones is having to make a decision with that. So I definitely feel, again, because I kind of feel like it works. So why? But I feel like there's some like, no, 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 I need to be uh, single. I want to get this out of my system. And, you know, that is a little bit of what I feel like is going on here. Which, like, I get, but it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, let's take a look. Uh, your person's intentions for this situation because this just you know what this is this because like the one that's ready to settle down is now just like kind of like doomed to waiting for the other person until you're ready playing around and when is that you know which can be just a bit frustrating okay um i want to start with some oracle pile number two so what are your person's intentions for this connection pile number two what are your person's intentions what are their intentions with this connection with pile number two we have home we have fertility we have financial health so I do, this all to me is like long term, you know, what you see in a long term committed relationship, building a home, having financial health, like building that up, fertility, that might be like children. In the Netherlands, we have a saying where it's like a house, a tree and a pet. Um, which just indicate, I think in English, it's like the, the white picket fence. How do they see this situation moving forward? Heal the ouch. Heal the ouch. So I feel like either in previous relationships or they ended because they wanted to be single or felt that need to be single or wanted to date other people or felt like the timing just wasn't right for that kind of or you know where they kind of you know live that and I feel like right now their focus is very much let's scratch that itch before moving forward which i'm like okay <sighs> fine like <laughs> fine okay um let's take a look at these pile number two your person's intentions for this situation ship We have a karmic relationship with fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. And that's exactly, again, what I'm feeling. That Again, they kind of... I, I feel like I'm just going to repeat what it, I feel like they have this belief system of like, okay, I need to be single for a little bit and get that out of my system so that itch is scratched, so I won't think about that, so I won't bring that into next relationship so i won't get triggered um we also have hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic opinions not showing hand and gambling them doing this they understand is a risk because they don't know whether or not you will still be there at the end of it um you might in the background hear sirens don't be alarmed that's happening every monday every first monday of the month uh, at like noon so that's what's going on. I don't know if you guys hear it, but yes. Um, we also have the golden mirror with self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. So yes, this person right now very much to focus on themselves. I need to get this out of my system. I need to do this, and I don't care. Or not that they don't care, but it's definitely care for you is lower on the list than care for themselves, which is fine. You know, fine. I don't care. It's annoying, but it's fine. Um, which can, for some of you, I feel like it kind of can feel to the point where, oh, if you don't pull any birds uh, one night, then I'm good enough. 
you know, when you don't get any, any attention somewhere else, you know that I will give you attention. That type of feeling to it, which can build up like resentment in this situation um, from your side. But let's take a look. The tarot has to say about this. What are their intentions? What are their intentions? I'm just getting a little bit annoyed uh, for you, pile number two, for some of you. Again, it doesn't have to be in this extremes, right? It can also just be, I just need to focus on myself. I need to be single for a little bit and, you know, you're cool with it and everything is good. Um, and they're not, too, like, they're not, they're truly treating this as friendship, you know, not, a, not as, like, yeah. Anyway, we have the two of ones. We have justice. We have chariots, the six of pentacles and the empress. Oh, I so don't like this. Okay. And the Ten of Cups at the bottom. So the Ten of Cups is an emotional connection, long-term committed relationship uh, for the long run. The Empress is someone that is receiving a message. So definitely wanting, but also like the Empress is like waiting here because at one point... <sighs> Like, the Empress is the one where we say, like, that's the difference between a girl and a woman. A girl chases what they want. A Empress or a woman attracts. And they definitely see that with you. And I definitely see them reaching out to you. Yes, attract. But, like, just because you attract something does not mean that you should accept it. You know? Like, honey attract bears, but the bee still stings, you know? It's... <laughs> I'm even seeing marriage here, but with that justice card, um, no one's in the picture. No one's there. It's like the contract is ready, everything is ready, all I need to do is sign it. All I have to do is make that decision of, okay, I'm ready. And then with that chariot, full force ahead. Which might be a little bit that love bombing. Six of Pentacles talks about there being an imbalance. Someone giving, the other person receiving. Sometimes it can talk about like charity. But there's a different, definite difference. One per person is just giving and the other one is just receiving. Where I feel like they're almost like preparing their themselves for when I am ready for a connection with pile number two. I am gonna go all in i'm gonna get everything out, out of the closet i'm gonna like love bomb i'm gonna throw it all all my love <laughs> in your face which is just again well uh, a little bit maybe unhealthy <laughs> um okay let's take a look pile number two this connection We have be present. You will attract love by enjoying your life as it is. Wherever you are, be all there. So I feel like that's just a little bit because I'm also seeing like, okay, let's just take all of them and then I'll explain. Uh, we have you are enough. The person you are meant to be with will love you the way you are. You don't need to change. Free yourself. You don't need to be in a control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. And we also have they are the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. Keep in mind, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Not the one that's good for you. Not your lifelong partner. The one that you are looking for. And that was kind of what I felt with that empress as well. Because I'm like, if you're happy, I'm happy. If you're like, oh, I'm cool, I don't mind waiting for this person and um, just like putting your life on pause for this person to heal and focus on. And then hopefully, because that's not set in stone, they will come to you when they are healed. Right? If that's good, great. Love that for you. What I am seeing for some of you is a feeling of let me make this space in my life for this person to come in where you change yourself oh they don't like video games and i love playing video games let me get rid of my computer so don't they don't get annoyed or you know where you adjust your life to like to 
attract them. Yes, we're talking about attraction, but I'm talking about you in your honest state. You, who you are in that state of mind. Again, you are good enough the way that you are. You will attract. If you, who you are, does not attract this person in that way, then this is not your person. Because especially I feel like women, we get, maybe I am projecting, but I feel like women sometimes get this mindset where for us, it's very easy to change. It's very easy to adapt. Um, oh, you like running? Let me try it out. Oh, you enjoy this hobby? Let me see if I can get into it. So you will like me more. You know? Where this very much talks about you just be you, radiate that, and you will attract what is yours. We have a karmic relationship here, which again is a very hard thing to explain because there's this pull towards one another, but it's hard to, we know this is not a good or healthy thing as it is right now. Karmic uh, relationships are meant for you to learn to grow. They trigger something within um, that should motivate us to heal, that should motivate us to become more in line with ourselves. Why am I triggered? Is there something I need to work on for myself? Okay, um, let's get some, uh, I want to get some messages from your person, anything that they would like to say to you, as well as I want to take a look at a timeline, like what is important, what timeline is important here for this connection. So let's take a look, pile number two, any messages from your person to you? Just the one? Okay. Um, I know that I crossed the line with you. I know that I crossed the line. So for some of you, because I'm feeling for some of you, you might be, well, but this and this and this and this. They know. They fully understand that they crossed the line. And for some of you, I feel like even still, they know this. They still decide to cross that line over and over and over. For some of you, it might have been, you know, with that friend friendship where you put that in as well, that boundary. Okay, let's just be friends because this is not, you know, but still they decide to cross that line. Would you say the things that you say to another friend? No, then why to me? And we know why to you, but they, they need to face that, you know. <coughs> let's not fill in their blanks. For them. Let's not. <clears throat> I know that I crossed the line with you. Because you know what it is? With that I know I crossed the line with you. It always follows a but. I know that I crossed the line with you. But I have a good excuse as to why to. I don't care. Everything you said before the word but. You don't mean. Yeah, I agree with you, but... So actually, you don't. Okay, you know? I know that I crossed the line with you, but... I have good reason for it. You know? Where it's like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, let's take a look at a timeline for you guys. Pause number two. What is an important timeline here for this situationship? And again, we are looking at their energy, you know? Where... You always have a choice in this. Um, we have when you least expect it, as well as in the morning. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have rushing in. Because I'm kind of feeling this like picture happening where, again, you guys are just friends. And one, one day you like either like go out or like go on a date or I don't know, something like that. And then this, like, you just living your life in full energy. I'm just me. This is just a friendship. I'm not expecting anything from this. Again, when you least expect it. So when you kind of, like, had that, like, moment of, you know. Um, then, like, the next morning, them messaging you. Like, hey, I heard you went on a date. And kind of, like, freaking out. 
Like, look at that. Look at that dog. Like, right, he's like, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's go. I need to, I need to, like, quick. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. I honestly kind of want to leave it here for you guys. Uh, pile number two. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If that was the case, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, what is the situation between the two of you? What's going on here? Because this indeed is a situation ship. This is, yes. Okay, so let me know. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. If you have any suggestions, please let me know and I'll take a look at it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's very helpful for me. So thank you so much for doing so. Have an amazing rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And then hopefully I'll talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number three. So if you chose this little hedgehog and dance, allow yourself some fun each day just as the sun dances with the moon each night. Then this is going to be your reading today. So we are going to take a look at the situation ship. First off, I want to take a look at what is going on. <laughs> what is the situation as this between the two of you? After that, we will take a look at uh, what are their intentions and, you know, anything that we can get for that so let's take a look pile number three what is the situation between the two of you as it is right now what is the situation for pile number three and their person in this situation ship what is going on we have the eight of wands we have the five of wands we have the king of cups the strength card, the five of cups, and the three of pentacles. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon and the queen of cups. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what, 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 what are, what are you guys doing? Because <laughs> the queen of cups is hidden behind that moon. So... I definitely feel there's genuine, you guys are just as interested in each other, like, equally. Um, the Eight of Wands is very, very fast-moving energy. With that Five of Wands and the Five of Cups, there is a little bit of, like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> let's, let's calm down. Um, the Five of Cups is very focused on the past, on what is lost, on uh, not ready for this new romance love coming in here with that five of wands can sometimes talk about rivalry it can talk sometimes a little bit about jealousy it is also just like seeing roadblocks where there might not be like with this some of them are like seriously like this one seriously these two seriously like fighting seriously wanting to win and these two are this one especially is just a bit where it's like oh, i'm just having fun <laughs> i'm just playing around um you know how can i describe that that it's like I feel like you guys are a little bit on different pages where one of the two is very much open and honest about their feelings and ready to love and be loved and the other person is a bit more like let's just take it slow let's just enjoy this dance right now let's be in the moment let's not think too much let's just keep it here um the eight of ones just can be a bit overwhelming sometimes it's a very very quick rapid movement quick development um which can be a bit suffocating and it can be a bit again overwhelming sometimes the three of pentacles does talk about being able to work well together uh, but normally the three of pentacles you see other people you know helping around getting shit ready but it kind of looks like he is just do working on this last pentacle by himself in the middle of the night to get shit ready. And I feel like that, like one of the two here is kind of in that mode of like, okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost ready. Let's just enjoy being in the moment. Let's not go, go too fast. Let's just, I need to fix this first. I need to focus a little bit on this and fixing this and getting this ready. And then we can, you know, then I can um, let go a little bit. Underneath that queen of, uh, we also have the nine of swords, which is that like, you know, uh, being up in the middle of the night, worrying about this. 
Um, underneath that, we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is also studying at like with candlelight in the middle of the night. <sighs> So one is a bit overwhelmed, <laughs> to say the least. But I do feel that you guys feel the same way about each other. One is just more enthusiastic. Also doesn't know. Because the other person with that Queen of Cups is very much hiding it. At, at the middle of the night, trying to fix everything behind the scenes, not telling the other person about it. Um, let's just enjoy this dance. Let's just enjoy this moment. Okay, let me get rid of these because I think we're pretty much there for you guys. So, I do feel <laughs> that energy of feeling a bit overwhelmed lies more with the um, feminine energy in this connection. Which, kind of automatically, I don't know why I, I put to you. Or like, you know stick that label on you can also be the other way around again it is energy energy is always fluid but let's again i just feel that you guys feel very similar to each other just one of the two is like less ready or trying to do whatever or like hide shit or <laughs> let's let's how do you say it? like in in netless we have like the thing where you like when you clean the floor you sweep the floor instead of like cleaning it up and throwing it out they kind of like sweep it under the, the like carpet oh you don't see it oh you don't see it um i think you have that in english well sweeping it under the carpet anyway i feel like that's what we're like we're haste hastefully doing everything okay uh let's take a look pile number three your person's intentions for this situation ship. like what's because I feel like they are very much like in. And look at that. We have love. So yes, your person is very much, let's do this. We have passion as well as life purpose. So your person knows what they want. They're like, this is it. I'm going for this. I feel like they are a bit where it's like, why are we in a situation ship? <laughs> uh, and we also have flying. I feel like this person would like to be there for you, would like to help you, support you, overcome obstacles that you might have. Because we're having here like this maze, right? Where I kind of feel like you might be walking in right now in this maze, trying to find your way and trying to, oh no, I'm fine. Do you need any help? No, I'm fine. I got this. Um, where I feel like this, this like flying unicorn is your person just going like but i can help you i can support you i can help you overcome this obstacle if you let me but i also feel that this person is not someone that pushes that let me help no they ask and leave it to you you are an independent person you can do this yourself i offered help you refused nothing personal I get that. You do you. If you ever do need help, the offer is still on the table, but it, it like you have to ask me now. I'm not going to persist. Which is very emotionally healthy, mature um, person. I love this person. Pile number three. Already. Um, let's also take a look at these for you guys. What are your person's intentions? Pile number three. Even though I kind of feel like we already know this. Girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enabled and boundaries. We also have passion again. Insane chemistry. Like each other equally. And having fun. We also have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, or person, boundaries, and still angry. Not today. Again, I definitely feel that your person is very much interested. 
Sorry about that, my neighbours are remodeling. Anyway, I definitely feel that your person is interested in pursuing a romantic relationship. I also understand that they are okay with the situation as this, that that's not the case right now, just enjoying it at the moment. I do feel that there is insane chemistry, again, liking each other equally. I also kind of feel that they, because you don't express what's going on or what it is that you're focusing on, for some of you, not all of you, um, there's a little bit of a feeling of, okay, you right now uh, just need to focus on yourself. We have, again, the girl with the snake, where it's not as extreme as them thinking you're a narcissist. Right. But I do feel that it is right now. OK, let's just let you focus with that snake then for now. I'm not going to get involved again. Boundaries um, surrounding that. And with that, not today as well. Understand it's not going to be today, but I do feel that they do hold like hope for this connection. OK, let's take a look at the tarot for you guys. Pile number three, your person's intentions, thoughts. We have the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups and the Two of Wands underneath that. I do feel when they you know, like, almost like get cut loose, where you're like, okay, I'm ready to date. They go all in. <laughs> They are, like, ready, preparing. Um, the Eight of Wands is very fast-paced, moving energy. Two of Pentacles, very well balanced. Um, I feel like they just want to have, like, fun and spend a little money and time on you and this connection. But, like, with balance. Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Let me check. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Three of Swords. So I do feel that your person is hurting over this situation. Um, there might have even been the case that like people around them have told them not to get involved with you. Or have had expressed their opinion about this situation. Or people that are not going to agree with this situation. Just because of how, again, your person is very, very much affected by the situation. You know, if they wouldn't be affected, they wouldn't truly care and love, which I do feel that they do. So obviously they're hurt by this situation. But I do feel that they're just like, you know, this has the potential for a serious long-term committed relationship. The get chemistry is, is insane even seeing you as like life purpose you're supposed to be my life partner you guys are very different understanding that but the queen of wands and the king of pentacles really do wor work well together where one of the two is more grounded more down to earth and the other one is more extroverted or more spontaneous let's go have fun let's go out there let experience life and that king of pentacles is very much allowing that okay let's do this you bring joy and excitement into my life um so yeah okay um let's take a look at these for you guys pile number three Their thoughts and feelings of this connection oh we have a lot do i want to take it all Let's just see. Okay, we have deception. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. Where I feel like it might be a little bit both of you. Again, one of the two is definitely hiding, you know, I want to do this myself. I'm not going to say too much. But the other one is also hiding the fact that one, they are hurting. And two, how much they actually care and, and are invested in this connection. We also have love your shadow, accept and work with the flaws in yourself so you can learn to accept others as they are. We have be honest, heart to heart conversations are necessary. It is safe for you to talk about your feelings. Twin flame. This person is your mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so sacred to you. Twin flame can also be very explosive because it shows you. The good sides of yourself, but also the not so great sides about yourself. So it can be very triggering. 
We also have divine timing. Be patient while things are unfolding. This connection is worth the wait. Do I need to say anything more about these? I don't think so. Take it how it fits in for you. But I kind of feel like it fits perfect. Okay. Um, I kind of want to take a look at a message from your person. Anything that they have to say to you. As well as I want to close it off with a timeline oracle. As in what is the important timeline for this connection for you guys. But first off, let's take a look at a message from your person. What is it that they would like to tell you? We have, I am afraid to contact you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. And I wish I had treated you better. For some of you with that letting go can also just be the fact that this is just a situation ship. That they're having, you know, that it was a hard thing for them. And with that, I'm afraid to contact you. For some of you, that might even be where I'm kind of feeling them feeling, I don't want to push you. I don't want to give too much or I don't want to put pressure on you. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, you know. Okay, let's take a look at the timeline here. Pile number three. We have a June. It's going to take a while. And when you least expect it. At the bottom of the deck, we even have take a break. Okay. I honestly kind of want to leave it here for you guys. Pile number three. So I will. Um, I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If that is the case, let me know in the comments down below. Like, talk to me about this. Give me the, the tea. But, like, what is the situation? What's going on? Let me know in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of content for you guys in the future as well. If you have any suggestions, please let me know and I'll take a look at it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. That's very, very helpful for me. So thanks so much for doing so and for being here. Have an amazing rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And take your time if you need it. It's fine to take time. Have that open communication about it, though. Have an amazing rest of your day. Go kick ass. You got this. And hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading.